OneDrive is a really useful way of storing files in the cloud, synchronizing them with one or more computers and sharing them with others. We covered these basic functions in our first video, and in this video we're going to look at three of the more advanced functions, all of them useful, but functions that sometimes get missed. First, we'll look at how to recover a file you've deleted. This is a really helpful option. To find out how to do this, Google Recover Deleted Files on OneDrive and find this link. It will take you to the Office 365 support site here. The Microsoft video tells you how. If you accidentally delete a file in OneDrive, you may be able to recover it later. OneDrive has a recycle bin that acts kind of like the recycle bin on your computer desktop, except the OneDrive recycle bin empties itself. If you're signed in with a Microsoft account, items stay in the recycle bin for 30 days. With work or school accounts, the recycle bin empties after 93 days, unless your admin changes the setting. To restore your deleted files, select the recycle bin. You'll see a list of your recently deleted files. Select the file you want to restore and select Restore. You'll see a notification that your file has been restored. You'll find your restored item in its original location in OneDrive. Another useful advanced feature is the ability to restore a file to a previous version. Macintosh users will be used to Time Machine and it's a bit like that. To find out how to do it, Google Restore Previous Versions of File on OneDrive and follow this link. There's no useful Microsoft video for this, so we'll run through it quickly. Sign on to your Office 365 account. Open up your OneDrive folder and select a file. We'll use the Staff Barbecue spreadsheet. Right-click on it and you'll see a list of options. Drop down to Version History and click on it. And here you'll see every version of the file listed. Simply click on the one you want to restore and restore it. It really is that easy. And finally, we'll look at setting alerts for a OneDrive file. OneDrive can be set to send you an alert every time someone makes a change to one of your files. Again, there's no handy Microsoft video for this that I can find, so we'll run through it quickly. You're still logged on to your Office 365 account, so go to the Files list in OneDrive, and at the bottom left you'll see Return to Classic OneDrive. The Alerts option is only available in Classic View. Goodness knows why. Microsoft does some strange things sometimes. Click on the link to restore Classic View. Next, you'll want to turn the ribbon on. Go to the Settings wheel here and click on it. Turn on the ribbon. You'll see that three tabs have appeared here. Next, select the file or folder you want to be alerted to if anyone else makes a change. As I said, we'll use the Staff Barbecue spreadsheet as an example. Next, click on the Files tab to open the ribbon and select Alert Me. The drop-down gives you two options. We simply want to set an alert, so we click this option. The rather large and slightly daunting Alerts box opens up. I can change the alert title if I want, but I'll leave this one as it is. Next, I can choose who to send alerts to. In this case, there's only one option, me. Next, I can choose how the alerts are sent, either by email or text message. If I choose text, I can also choose whether or not to include the URL. That's probably a good idea. Next, I can apply a filter to the alert. In this case, I want to know when someone else makes a change to the document. And finally, I can choose when to receive the alert. 
if I've set up a lot of alerts, I'll probably not want them popping up randomly. So I choose a daily summary. And then I can set the time. And that's it. Useful, but not obvious. All sorts of things are possible with Office 365, and you could spend your entire working week learning the various options, so be selective. It pays to learn about them as you need them, rather than try to remember everything all at once. Remember, Google is your friend. And if you're really stuck or want to know more about using Office 365, contact eTop Technology. We're here to help. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, check out some of our more recent videos. And if you're looking for a new IT partner, please visit our website.